Good afternoon everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Storage Shed. Today is April 4th, 2018. Been gone for week 10 days, been kind of sick. Uh, today is another military 2015 review. This is menu number 18, beef ravioli and meat sauce. And the packaging date on here is the 300 and not 300 I'm guessing 21 of 2015 this weighed in at one pound 7.6 ounces and what we're supposed to get is beef ravioli and a meat sauce a toaster pastry jalapeno cheese spread snack bread dried fruit beef snacks, carbohydrate, fortified beverage, hot sauce, and let's see how we're doing here. Okay, and this says it's packed on the 321st day. Let's go ahead and open this baby up and see what's happening here. All right, so we got our main, and that's dated the 289th day of 2015, beef ravioli. All right, I'm going to go pop this in the pan real quick, then we'll do our nutritional facts here. Beef ravioli and a meat sauce, 8 ounces, 227 grams, and our accessory pack. Ooh, accessory pack C. Looks like we got some cinnamon gum going there. Okay, uh, cranberries. This must be our dried fruit. That weight two ounces, 57 grams. Packed on the 300th day of 2015. We have sterling foods, white wheat snack bread. And I think it's like two ounces, two ounces, 57 grams, packed on the 264th day of 2015. Beef snacks, packed on the 307th day of 2015, 0.8 ounces, 22.7 grams. Yeah, jalapeno cheese spread. So I happen to bring my own cheese spread and my own peanut butter just to see what we can do here. Um, I'm going to give that to Cousin Matthew. Okay? Also, uh, beverage base powder, tropical punch, 1.2 ounces, 34 grams. And that is packed on the 257th day of 2015. And my toaster pastry. Oh, it's a chocolate chip one. I might eat this. 1.8 ounces, 52 grams. Packed on the something. Oh, it's right there on the front. On the 267th day, 2015. Got our spoon. Oh, the there's a Cousin Matthew pepper sauce. Ooh, throw that off to the side. Our hot beverage bag. And our heater. Day the 281st day of 2015. All right. Well, let's just get right into it here. Get our cup going. And uh, where's that beverage base powder? Cranberries. Not it. Not beverage base powder. Tropical punch. Oh, I'm getting that all over the tray. And I'll pump a little bit of hot water in there. Get that going. All right. 
And let's jump into our accessory pack here. Accessory pack C, 300th day, 2015. Can't remember how many items are in this one. I think seven. Okay, we got our coffee instant type three, 1.5 grams. Coffee creamer, four grams. Hundred and sixty fifth day. I don't know if you can see that or not. Twenty fifteen. Didn't check my date out on this. The two hundred and thirty eighth day, twenty fifteen. Our cinnamon gum. Our moist towelette. Our Splenda for I love the Splenda. Splenda for the coffee. Um, toilet paper slash napkin. I'm get that going right now. And some salt. Alright. Got our coffee going here. And get our Splenda. Love this. I can have a whole cup of coffee. That Splenda just does an absolutely wonderful job. And our creamer. Come on, baby. And our coffee. And we'll get some hot water in that. Wow. Well, that's how much we're getting. All right, I'm gonna finish this off over here. Yeah, still need some stirring happening. Ah, uh, close enough. All right, let's get some water in there. How can you go wrong with fruit punch? Okay. Yeah, it's still kind of kind of cloudy looking. All right. Get some uh, toilet paper slash napkins rolling here. snack out something within a something yeah if I recall right I had a hard time opening that up the last time give that a taste test I can go wrong with the meat snack Oh, there's our bread. I had one bread that was like two skinny pieces. I really enjoyed that. Oops. But it's just the one. It looks like you could slice that in half, but I know you can't. Okay, enough of that. This was the toaster pastry. Had one of uh, one of these chocolatey ones from another play. Yeah, and it's nice and it's not hard. It's oh look at that. Mmm. All right. And we got dried fruit. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. Cranberries. Let's check that out. Chocolate. 
chewy. Pretty good. Wow. A lot of flavor going on in there. All right. Let's go get our main. All right. And let's scope this out here. Now, notice when they give us that hot sauce that it needs a little bit of help. Most of these have needed no help. And found out, don't, don't mess with it. Just leave it alone. Don't know why I'm having such a problem here. There we go. Oh, that smells wonderful. Okay. You know, I cooked that for quite some time too. Seems like it's a little on the on the dry side or or something. Give that a, a taste test. Big chunk of ravioli going on. Looks like some meat. Alright, let's give that a test. You know. Pretty good. It could use something, but I'm not touching it. I already learned my lesson here. All right, let's uh, let's get out some. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I also have some jelly that I I'm gonna save that. Uh, I'm gonna put some peanut butter and some. You know what? And I think if I recall right, I think we need to put this jelly on first. I realize this isn't part of the part of the deal, but you know what? I'm just gonna kind of switch it up here a little bit. I know the review is supposed to be for you know what it is, but I'm changing it. That's right. Just because I, I shouldn't have done that. I should have stuck with the review. All right. Let's spread that out. I wonder how this peanut butter is going to go on the top of that. I don't know. I've always put the peanut butter on first. Had a problem getting the jelly on. So let's just give that a whack. Oh, I can see this. I'm going to have a problem. But it is what it is. 1.5 ounce. Can you go wrong with that? All right. Let's see if I can spread this out over that. Oh, I didn't think so. But it was worth a try. I'm just kind of making a big mess out of everything here. Should I just went with the review? All right, I'll know. I'll know better for next time. I'm getting that all in my main. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. I haven't even had it. Any coffee yet? Oh, really good with that Splenda. You can see, and there's some still some stuff floating on the top there. All right, let's try. 
my our jelly and ravioli. That's pretty good. These, I don't believe I've had before. And they are really good. They're sweet. They're kind of kind of mushy. Dry but mushy. I don't know if that makes sense. pastry I probably should not have used jelly probably just should have done no cheese like a like I said sorry everybody but it was good there's our toaster pastry polish that off I better have one more bite of this before I go. It's actually pretty good. All right. Well, Americal, you packaged your product wonderfully. Two big thumbs up for you. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. And thanks, everyone, for watching. And we will see you next time on the Storage Shed.